Hey, this is Andy and Jerry, and we're going to be demonstrating the physics of wavelength and the frequency using a guitar. Alright, first we're going to be talking about frequency. And this can be changed in three different ways on the guitar with length, tension, and thickness. Alright, first we're going to be talking about length. The way you can change the length of a string is by holding down different frets on the guitar, and that will change the pitch. So, here's with no frets, you get a lower, uh, lower pitch, and then when you hold down a fret, get a higher pitch. Uh, now we're going to be talking about tension. So when I originally play a note on the guitar, you can hear it, but when I pull on it, uh, I put some tension on the string and you hear a new frequency. And this is what many musicians use uh, for vibrato, as seen here. Now we're going to be talking about thickness. So the relationship between frequency and pitch is that the lower frequency has a lower pitch and the higher frequency has a higher pitch. If you look closely at the guitar, you can see that the strings closer to me have a much uh, thicker string while the strings further away from me have a much thinner string. The lower strings that are much thicker have um, a very low frequency, so a very low pitch. While the strings further away from my body are very thin and they have a higher frequency. Alright, next we're going to be talking about nodes. Nodes are any point on the string, like here and here, that don't move throughout the vibration. Jerry's going to be playing an open string, and there'll be a note at either end, here and here, and it'll vibrate back and forth. Next, he's going to mute the string by placing his finger on the string above the 12th fret, but not putting his finger actually on the fret and playing it. And it's going to create another note here, which will uh, make the string vibrate on either side. And that's without me actually putting my finger down. This is just me muting the string. But I'm still getting that note, that noise by putting my finger on that note. Next he's going to be putting his finger here on, above the 7th fret, and it's going to create another note at equal length here, creating three vibrations in the string. Just to show you what it sounds like if I don't put my finger exactly on that note position, when I'm muting the string exactly like how it was when I was putting my finger over the 7th and the 12th fret, this is what it would sound like. But when I move to the 7th fret, and when I move to the 12th fret, instead of... Alright, and for our last demo, we're going to be talking about resonance. Uh, I brought out the bass guitar because it'll be easier to hear the actual resonance of the string, and we also have an amp which can possibly make it easier for the camera to pick it up. So for this demo what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to play a really high E note on my D string and I'm going to mute it really quickly. And uh, normally you would think that the sound would stop immediately but you should hear a resonating sound and what, actu what is actually happening is this low E string is matching that pitch that I got. Oh no, we messed up. The we're not actually matching the pitch. We played the natural frequency of the lower note, and that's why it's playing. And it's gonna sound something like this. If it, you can't, I'm pretty sure you can't really hear it that well on the camera, but what happens is when I'm hitting this and I let go, you can still hear a resonating sound from the amp, and you can't really tell where it's coming from until I actually put my finger down on the E string, and the vibration stops, which means the note was actually playing even though I didn't touch it at all. And that is resonance. Okay, let me just set up the shot. I'm not videotaping you. I, I just videotaped you. I'm posting really? that on Facebook. Oh my god. <laughs>